This is Internet Business Mastery, Episode 93. In a world where bosses control your life and thoughts of escape fill your mind, where inspiration seems dead and cynicism rules the masses, you have a desire to break free. You feel the need to take control. Now, there exists a place where the secrets of freedom and wealth are given to those who believe. InternetBusinessMastery.com Free your mind. Hello and welcome to Internet Business Mastery Online at InternetBusinessMastery.com. I'm Sterling. And I'm Jay. And we're here to help you escape the 9 to 5 and live the lifestyle of your dreams by turning your life's passion into a profitable internet business, even if you're just getting started today. On this episode of Internet Business Mastery, we continue our discussion about the fundamental building blocks of achieving success in internet business, and this is actually the part two. And in the quick tip, we have a book for anyone that wants to have the power to change anything. I'm talking anything. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we'd like to remind you that if you'd like to get a jump start on creating your own profitable internet business using our proven system, you can claim your risk free trial membership to the Internet Business Mastery Academy by going to freeaudiogift.com. So, Jay, <laughs> have you uh, recuperated from all the launching recently? Um, I think so, but now we're just on, <laughs> on to the next stuff. There's always. Big plans, big plans for Internet Business Mastery. But uh, I, yeah, I'm glad exactly. you brought that up because we definitely had a few people write in and say, hey, wow, a lot of promotion going on recently. And um, so I guess we just wanted to speak to that uh, really quickly. I, I know that you know, so it, it, the last couple months we, we did three big promotions in a row, the Lifetime Launch, then Ryan Dice's, or, yeah, Ryan Dice's Facebook Ad Power, followed by Brendan Burchard's Expert Academy. And I don't know that we've ever done three in a row like that. It just happened to be that the timing of these things that we thought would be valuable ha happened all in a row like that. And we, we wanted to bring that to our audience, realizing that the relationship with our list is, is the most valuable asset in any business, in our business as well as any business. And, um, you know, that's something we want to always respect. So it's good to get that feedback. Uh, however, a few things I guess that we want to uh, just kind of point out. Um, I, I mean, we are very, it, it may seem sometimes like people are just promoting whatever. It's a money grab, just trying to uh, milk the list or whatever. And, and that, that, that is, that's never been our approach. I mean, this is a, a value exchange. We love bringing great free content all the time to you. But then at the same time, you know, that it's, it's a business and at times there will be promotions and things. And we want to balance that threshold, realizing everybody will have a different threshold for how much they, uh, promotion they can handle. However, when we do bring something, whether through the email list or the blog or the show, it's because we have checked it out ourselves. It's something that we trust and respect. Uh, you know, I, I know some people may wonder if it, if we actually do use the stuff that we're promoting. And, and the answer is yes. Um, and in fact, if it was just about making a lot of money, we would, would have promoted both the ad power and Brendan's thing a lot earlier because they'd already been on the market for a couple weeks and we knew that people were promoting them and making money off them. But we wanted to take uh, you know, a good amount of time to check into them and, and feel good about it and make sure it was appropriate for our list. And um, so yeah, that, that's why even actually... Uh, you know, later after a lot of other people had already promoted it and made money on it, we, we still waited to, to bring in at the, what we thought was the best time after we had a chance to look into it. So I don't know. That, that's just a couple things I wanted to say on that matter and happy now that we're, you know, we'll, we'll be back to just providing great content that's still the plan, like always. In fact, if you compare this time, the, the same time last year, we're, we're putting out more podcasts than we did this time last year, putting out more blog posts on the blog, bringing in lots of, uh, you know, guest bloggers that we've handpicked. Um, and continue to put new co content into the academy. So our content uh, creation uh, remains strong and, and we remain committed to offering a lot of uh, value to the people that follow us. So uh, what would you have to say about that, Sterling? Well, just to, to the final alert that, yes, we're back to our hopefully content-rich newsletter that comes out once a week. So uh, please go back to enjoying that. <laughs> that that's filled with all the new blog posts and all the other stuff that uh uh we try and bring you uh every single week as well. Um and yeah, I mean in the end it, it's one of those things where I know that uh, we've been doing this almost 6 years now and in all those years I think we've promoted a whopping 5 or 6 people ever. 
Yeah. So it, it was just kind of uh, unfortunate as far as the way we normally do any sort of, uh, you know, promotion of other people. They just all s slam down at the same time. Um, and also the Facebook ad power, it took us a while too to realize, oh, we were sitting in the seminar that this was designed at. Yeah. I didn't realize <laughs> he didn't call it that then. And uh, then we were like, oh, wow. I mean, these were these. Facebook tips were, you know, really, really uh, important to us. So, so anyway, um, we just, you know, want to let you know that we very much respect your time and the relationship that we have through the email list and and the content we provide. And and you know, we definitely never want to piss people off because our goal and our mission is to help you succeed and escape the nine to five like we did. So, anyway, that's what I would say. All right. So, uh, you know, and, and maybe we'll do an episode where we talk about that because certainly the relationship and, and keeping that balance of the relationship and the respect of the relationship with the list, but still making money and having that value exchange. I mean, that, that's a, that's a very important lesson and there's a lot of, uh, nuances that go into that. So, uh, we'll, we'll put that on the schedule to, to do an episode about how to, because as your list grows, I mean, you're going to run into those same kinds of things. I mean, for every one person that emailed us saying, wow, a lot of promo, we had at least one, if maybe not two people email us and say, wow, that was really cool. Thank you for introducing me to that uh, webinar. Thank you for uh, putting, you know, bringing Brendan's information to us. Thank you for making me aware of this product. It's exactly what I needed right now. I'm thrilled with it. I'm already going through it and it's awesome stuff. So, you know, and, and, and it's that, that, that give and take, that balance. And so we'll do an episode about that sometime. Um, to talk about how you can do that in your own business and with your own list. Um, but uh, for now, let's go ahead and jump into this episode's feature segment. And now, the feature segment. All right, as, uh, as we get started here, let's go ahead and just review quickly what it was that we talked about last time, which was you know in part one of this fundamental building block of success in internet business. And we were talking about how that's all based on on creating good habits, habits that are goal oriented, habits that are oriented towards the goals that you want to and the things that you want to achieve in your life. We dispelled three myths related to forming habits. The first of those was that we need more discipline. I know sometimes if you're not quite getting where you want in, in life or business, you're like, well, I just need to be more disciplined. But again, it's about, it's not about being more disciplined. It's about creating, uh, we're already completely disciplined, but just to the wrong kinds of habits and goals. We got to shift those over to new habits oriented to the new kinds of goals, the new level we want to reach. The second myth that we talked about dispelling was that you need to change all your bad habits right now. And that's, uh, it's just not true and it's not possible really. I mean, the whole New Year's Eve resolution thing where people list 20 things they want to change all at once. And the reason why so often that goes awry and doesn't work is because it's just not within us to be able to change 20 things at once. You know, you change one thing at a time, maybe two, you, you got to know your capacity and uh, and just take so you know concentrate on one thing but if you you know s stack them one after the other if you spend 3 to 4 weeks at a time and think of all the habits you could change within a year rather than trying to do 20 all at the beginning of the year myth number 3 is that you can change a habit overnight uh, i think sometimes people feel like if it, if they try for a couple days and and they fail then it's like oh i just don't i'm not able to do this again i don't have the discipline or whatever but it takes three to four weeks to form a new habit. And yes, it is going to be tough uh, and it takes a bit of willpower. 